started out really young. Uh, he was a newspaper guy, and he also shined shoes, and I was an Avon girl when I was a teenager. So we had an entrepreneurial spirit all along. Life was good. It was good. And you know, it's kind of funny how your hopes and dreams are dependent on other people. Pretty amazing. Well, part of my hopes and dreams were dependent on Tony and Pam Bowling. It was like the third year we were actually in business, but we had our convention in Tyson's Corner. And I'll never, ever forget the feeling that I had. I looked out at the back and the arena was full of unfranchised owners. And just the feeling came over me, it was a tingle. I mean, I just said, we did it. We're gonna make it, this is real. Together, Tony and Pam became two of the most accomplished, respected, and successful entrepreneurs our company has ever known. When we talk about the atmosphere earlier, this atmosphere is filled with Pam and Tony's spirit. Pam, she is a lady. She is a queen. She has put her man first. It's all about other lives that we've been able to touch. Yeah, I couldn't do it without my, my wife and partner, Pam. I asked Tony, and I said, I'm gonna represent us. Are you okay with that? He said, you make me proud. You have to have time. It's something that's become today's world. We're so time starved. And I'll tell you, I'm so blessed, you guys. People shown up. There's, I can't even name everybody. People have shown up when I've least expected it and shown me so much love and, and concern for us. This is a family. This is not something you can trade. So the blessing that we have is, is hope. Where there's hope in the future, there's power in the present. So you got to have hope. That's what we do. This is what we do. This is who we are. Pam, if you're listening, we love you so much.